I don't know who wrote these words. <laughs> so, hi everyone. How are you doing? Um, it, I, I was thinking earlier, it's so trippy hearing Steve's voice in like 3D. <laughs> Because as I told him earlier, it's usually out of my Bluetooth speaker as I shower every morning. <laughs> A very intimate part of my day, you are, Steve. So it's, uh, it's, 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 it's cool to meet him. Um, hi, everyone. My name is Mike. Um, I have the honor of serving on this university's Board of Regents. Um, and We've actually been meeting a lot lately. Um, as, you, as you're aware, we're in a presidential transition. Um, but after meeting about that, one of the things we unanimously voted on the other day was the permanent appointment of Janet as chancellor of this campus. Her, um, her name tag said acting chancellor. We just need some white out and we can, we can take care of that. Um, Morse, Morse is special. Um, Morse is really special and I've, I've had the pleasure of being here a number of times. First time I came here I was a student. Uh, Sam Rosemark, which some of you may yeah, I'm seeing nodding heads, uh, a friend of mine invited me here and we, we went out to the Met. Uh, <laughs> we did karaoke at the Met. Uh, the next day we were at Don's Cafe, hung out with bus driver Sid. Um, yeah. <laughs> so it was, it was a great time. Um, last time I was here was in March. My car broke down, uh, my transmission to be specific. And it, it, was, it was an interesting day because it was Friday, the rest of the board left and I, I hung I had to hang out here um, a little longer. And it, this campus, word spreads pretty quickly because as I was just walking around campus, they're like, you're the transmission guy, aren't you? I'm like, yep. Um, but I actually came here. I always keep a basketball in my car. Came here and there were some students hooping and um, we, we played basketball for a couple hours. I don't know if any of them are here, but uh, I usually shoot better than that, guys, um, <laughs> if, if you are here. Um, and it, I, I, I noticed, as the names were being called, some of the loudest people were the faculty. Um, yes, this caucus right here. Yeah, you know yourself. <laughs> um, and I think that's special. That really shows you the relationship that, um, that this campus has. Another, as, as, I, as I think about Morris and it being special, another thing that I recall is a conversation I had some years back with uh, former Chancellor Michelle Baer, um, and we, we were here for, I think, when I had just been elected, and we were here on, on a campus visit, and we were, we were discussing something. I, I think it, ACT scores, uh, something like that, and she said something along the line. She said, you know, we're really proud of the students that come here with 4.0s, the students that are valedictorians, um, the students that quote unquote have a good profile. We said we're way more proud of the student that had to struggle, the student that, that, that had issues along the way, the student that was dealing with things at home, the student that thought about leaving and we had to work with them and, and, and bring him to here today. And uh, Dylan shared his story that uh, has some of that and I think a lot of you identify with that story as well, and, 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 the, and Morris is a place for all students, but especially students like that, so I want to recognize that. And I, that, that always stuck with me because I, I was one of those students, actually you were right, maybe I would have fit in here. Um, Dylan failed a test. I failed a class my senior year of, of, of high school. And our district had this silly policy that I couldn't even walk. I was like, colleges let people walk with like 30, degree, 30 credits left. Um, but anyway, Maple Grove Senior High School thought they were too good um, for that. It was, a, it, was a, it was actually, I thought I didn't care too much 
because I was like, you know, I'll just do the summer class and then whatever. But so I went to the, our district had three graduations, one after the other, and I had friends at all the schools. So I went to the first one, I went to the second one, and then I went to mine. And as I was outside, everyone was like, where's your gown? Where's your gown? Where's your gown? And I was like, yeah, man. So I left. And, and now I'm conferring your degrees eight years later. Um, and I share that story because it's important to share, right? Um, I, I'm not encouraging, if there's any high school students back there, I'm not encouraging failing. But should you find yourself there, that's not where the story ends. Um, and I would encourage you. That's not where the story ends, and it's important to share it because there's someone else that has found themselves there. Um, but again, I encourage passing uh, statistics don't favor those who don't, but you know, it, it doesn't have to end there, and if you find yourself there, visit the Morris admission website um, <laughs> and, and see what we can do for you. Uh, I don't want to stand between you and the conferral much longer, but I will offer one thing. Commencement, you know, we spend a lot of these days talking about the past four years, or, you know, or five, um, or, what, or however long it took, and, and that's important. It is important to reflect, but the word commence actually means to begin, right? It's really about what you go on from here to do. Um, Steve's speech really captured that, and, and I mean, that, that's, what, that's what this is really about. I guess it's dual purpose. It's a celebration of the past four, but really thinking about the future. And when I think about life and the future, there's a quote that always sticks with me and comes to mind for myself. Uh, the true meaning of life is to plant trees under whose shade you do not expect to sit. And I'll read it again. The true meaning of life is to plant trees under whose shade you do not expect to sit. And I think maybe at first, I think, I think that's our duty in life, to, to plant those trees. And if you're unsure about that, it becomes much more clear when you think about it the other way. When you think of all the trees under whose shade you've sat, and you realize that you had nothing to do with their planting, and it was not because of your efforts, but you still got the benefit of them. Obviously, literal trees, um, but then proverbial trees, um, like, like this campus, right? And what this campus used to be, and what this campus is now, and that transformation, a lot of people put their work into that and planted that tree and we're here under its shade, including Jim, you know, who was one of the, can, can we just clap for him one more time? <laughs> one of the, one of the original, thir the Morris 13. I said they should make a movie, that sounds like a good time. I'd watch that, Jim. <laughs> um, you know, and, and, and we're here under, uh, under the shade. Um, the, you know, Steve said that Dylan has insisted, I think that's the word he was insisted on having a voice, and that voice is impactful, but he won't be here much longer to sit under its shade, but its shade is gonna be here, right? I think about that for myself. Um, the first African-American regent at the University of Minnesota was Josie Johnson, elected in 1971. I sit under her shade, um, and it's my obligation and our obligation to plant further trees. So, with that, um, I will ask the class to please rise.